Hello and welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week. Um, this week is involves some modular arithmetic, so if you're not familiar with that, I suggest you uh, search it on Google and find out some information. But basically, we know that x is between 1 and 138,000, and x is congruent to 1 mod 3, which just means that when you divide x by 3, you have a remainder of 1. Uh, and when you divide x by 11, you have a remainder of 8. When you divide x by 13, you have a remainder of 4, uh, and so on. You might have some expertise in coding. Uh, and if so, this would be an interesting uh, thing to try and construct. And it would be an interesting problem to construct. Um, but we're just going to do this with math. And so somewhere in between brute force and using a computer to do all your work. So let's set up what we think x is going to be equal to. So what we want is to break up our x so that we, we divide by any one of our, um, of our key pieces. We get, uh, we kind of eliminate everything except for one part of our x. And one way to break up a number is with addition, so that's what we're going to do. So I've, I've broken up x into five pieces that we will, uh, when we hit x with mod something, we'll wipe out all those other pieces. So when we hit x with mod 3, we want the, these pieces to have a remainder of 0. So um, we're going to multiply these pieces by 3. And similarly, when we hit x with mod 11, we want all of these pieces to uh, go to 0, uh, to be equal to 0 mod 11. Uh, so we're going to multiply every piece except the one we've kind of fixed to be our uh, center of investigation when we do mod module 11. We're not going to multiply that by 11. And we're just going to do the same thing for 13, 17, and 19. Um, and one thing that you should be careful of and take note of in, in this particular example is that all these numbers are prime, so they have no... Uh, common factors, um, meaning they're all relatively prime as well. So for example, if these two are not relatively prime, we could not go about uh, finding our x in this method because it would just, uh, it would just wouldn't work out as nicely uh, because we would have two non-vanishing terms when we did modulo whatever. Um, so I'm just going to simplify this, and I've done this all in my paper. So uh, I don't have to use a calculator. So now we're going to go ahead and adjust our number to, so that it fits uh, with these conditions here. Uh, so first we're going to hit it with mod 3. And when, when we hit it with mod 3, all these are going to become 0 uh, modulo 3. So we're going to look at this, which when we divide by 3 gives us something that's like 0.333, which means the remainder is 1. Which is very nice because um, we don't have to do any massaging here to this number. Uh, but if you notice, the only possible remainders would be 1 and 2, so we kind of had a coin flip there. Moving on, once we divide everything by 
uh, once we divide x by 11, uh, so we're looking at x mod modulo 11, so these terms are, gonna are going to become 0 mod 11, and we're going to just look at what this one equals to, uh, which when we divide it by 11 will give us a remainder of 2. Um, which we want 8 modulo 11. So if we just multiply this by 4, we will get 8. Uh, multiplying this number by 4 will give us 50,388. And you can check at home that that is indeed equal to 8 mod 11. Um, Moving on, we have this. We divide everything by 13. I hope you get this process by now. So all these are going to become 0 modulo 13. And once we do that, we're going to have a remainder of 12 modulo 13. Uh, dividing this number by 13 will give us a remainder of 12. And so we want, want to multiply. Uh, 12 by 9, that will give us something that is uh, congruent to 4 modulo 13, which is what we want. And I've kind of just gone, if you're wondering how I can do this so fast, I've already done the uh, kind of uh, or algorithmic math beforehand, so I just have it written here. So dividing this number by 17, we get eight module, uh, remainder of 8. Uh, so 8 times 14 is going to give us something that has a remainder of 10. But we're looking at this number, so that's going to be um, 114,114. And we're going to do this process one more time for our last part of x. So I found the last part of x, and if you're wondering uh, how I do this, I just is multiply. Um, so x being congruent to some number a mod n means x equals k times n plus a. So I just plug in different values for k. Uh, here, I'll write that relation here. So first you do 1, 2, 3, and, and check out when uh, um, you have uh, the correct, you have the right, uh, check out when you have the right remainder. So now adding these up, we have x is equal to 416,017, which is greater than our original bound, which was 138,000. And this is congruent to um, 416,000. 1,017 uh, modulo this number because we're multiplying by each one, so we kind of composite those all. And so what we, if we want to find something that's less than this, we just s subtract out this, uh, this thing, and then the remainder is always going to be the same. So coming down until you get something that's within our bound is x is equal to 316. Uh, it, it, x actually is congruent to 316 modulo that, but since we're just looking for that one number that fits our, all of our criterion, x is equal to 316. And that was uh, a slightly tedious uh, Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week, but I hope you took something away from it. Anyways.
Thank you for watching. If you want a playlist of all of our problems of the week, you can check the links here. You can also find links to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our website, which has a bunch of cool math resources that uh, I definitely recommend. And mobile, you can find links to all that in a card up in the corner. Thank you for watching and have a good day.